Oh, hello there. Today's request comes from Kevin, Kalor26, supporter of the cause. Kevin, thank you so much for the Turtle Food Fund money. For, uh, What's the Frequency Kenneth by R.E.M. Now, this one's a big... There's nothing tricky about it, and it's only a few chords, but they just kind of are all the same, and they go in a little different order, so I had to write it down. So I'm going to put this piece of paper on my website, ryanlent.com, show notes, and of course, it's in super secret backwards code, so no miscreants can horn in on our secret information. What's the Frequency Kenneth makes me think of radio waves, which makes me think of microwaves, which makes me think of microwave pizza, so you're looking for microwave pizza, Jessica. All right. Here we go. Uh, he said, I know you don't like to talk about the right hand very much, but could you please focus it on it for this one? Uh, so I will. Grab yourself a D, and what we're going to do is go... It's a good catch-all strumming pattern for the intro, and we're going to change it for the verse, but... Down, down, up, up, down, down. And then the first time, there's a really quick, sloppy sort of, like, it's almost an A chord, but it's not. So it's like kind of just the A and the D strings before you go into G. Down, up, up, down. Is that what I said the first time? Down, down, up, up, down, down. Right? Sloppy A string. G, down. Again, but this time we get a whole A chord. Down, down, up, up, down, A, G, down, up, 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 uh, whatever, yeah. So here we go, whole thing. Getting into the verse, this strumming pattern will work in all but one little spot. So, no chord at all, just mute it and go down, down, up, down, up, down, 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 up, down, up, down, down. One more time. Down with me now. Down, up, down, up, down, down. Okay, so when we apply the chord progression here, A, D, B minor, G, we're gonna go down, down, up, down, and then switch to D. Up, down, down. So. Second line. A. D. A. G. Third line's the same as the first line. A. D. B minor. G. The last line's different. A. D, B minor, E minor. So you notice that that change happens sort of in the middle of quick strums. It's okay if you take time to switch and you just hear some chicky chicky strums there. That's completely fine. See, even if I do it like exaggerated, exaggeratedly <laughs> slow, uh, it still sounds totally, totally normal. do it that slow, right? But just to illustrate that, you cannot switch in no time at all. It's physically impossible. So if you hear some sloppy nothing strums while you're switching, completely fine. Whole verse. Chorus is just G A G A, but the chords hang on for longer, so you don't have to switch in the quick strummies there. And this part, the bass is playing tricks on your ears. It makes you feel like the guitar is doing something fancy. I don't think it is, um, but I'll show you something that you can do if you want to be fancy. So G A G A. When you're on the G. That's the pre-chorus. When you're on the G, you can take your finger off the, uh, your pointer finger off the A string and put it back like this. Right. Or you can mess around with the D string second fret or the G string second fret. Right. Or anything with your, when your middle 
finger, when your pointer finger comes off, the A string, the D string, and the G string second frets are all fair game notes in our key. So you can do whatever you want there. And when you get to the A, you can do like your F sharp minor pentatonic action, which is very convenient because your pointer finger is on the second fret of the strings and the F sharp minor pentatonic is here, right? So you could do uh, A string two to four. Or you can do the D string or the G string. that they're all great. And we've made it to the chorus. And one of the reasons why this chorus is so satisfying <laughs> is because uh, this song is in the key of D. All of the chords are in the key of D. D, E minor, F sharp minor, not there, but uh, G, A, and B minor is our key of D. The song starts on A, the chords for which, the key of A, are A, B minor, everything's good so far, C sharp minor, nope, D, yep, E major, so definitely not the key of A. What is, what's happening is we're using the D major scale, but going from A to A, it's A-centric. We've talked about this before. That's called the Mixolydian mode because A is the fifth chord in the key of D. So when a song takes the entirety of the verse and pre-chorus to finally start on the home key, it's like a ah moment where, where the light just shines down on you and all your relatives. So that's why this chorus sounds so great is because they make you wait and then finally hit the D chord for the chorus, which goes D, A, D, G, same strumming pattern, until here, A, G, G, A, that's where it changes, D, A, D, G, A, G, G, A, and that's it. So the chorus is not in Mixolydian. We could call the verse that. One more time. The thing to note is that when they go into the chorus, it rings out on a D. Which is also very satisfying, right? And the chorus... Did I say the chorus? I meant the solo. When it goes into the solo, it rings out on a D, and then the solo is, the chords for the solo is B minor, twice as long, just like the pre-chorus, A, B minor, A, B minor, A, A, G, A, also rings out on D just like going into the solo rang out on D. Let's see if we missed anything. Yeah, that's it, except to say that the uh, the chorus always ends with a ring out in D, and also the solo is in B minor. Now we all know our B minor pentatonic shape probably, which is 7, 10, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 9, 7, 10, 7, 10, but they use some notes um, in addition to the minor pentatonic, so why not just use the whole B minor scale, which is 7, 8, 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, 10, 7, 9, continuing right along, G string, 6, 7, 9, B string, 7, 8, 10, and E string, 7, 9, 10. So all of those notes are fair game, noodle around, do whatever you want using those, and you can make it yours. practice. Yep, that's it. Kevin, thank you so much. I knew that song. I really like that song. I even added that song to the golf playlist. So thank you for reminding me, most of all, that I liked it. And thank all of you for being here. I hope that was helpful, and I will see you next time with more stuff. Goodbye.